Some very tough news for all of us that were Rush fans, are Rush fans, and will always be Rush fans. The passing of Neil Peart at 67 was something that was very difficult to... I think for a lot of us, he influenced us in so many ways, more than just music. And I think of the first time I heard this, uh, I was at Bay Bloor Radio back in the mid to late 70s. And a friend of mine who was an audiophile had brought this album to test out their speakers. And this was the song that was played. And I listened to it and I thought, <laughs> I think this just changed my life. I think this is going to be significant. And for a lot of us, uh, we feel that way and have always felt that way. It's like being a part of this club when you're a Rush fan, that you feel that somehow that that music was made for you. A big part of that, Neil Peart's lyrics. I get uh, a message from Calgary here this morning from someone who calls himself Shut Up Little Man, and he, he, he words this perfectly. He said, I don't remember the last time the death of a public figure affected me this way. Although I became a Rush fan only just in the 2000s, there have been periods in my life where their music has meant everything to me. There's a reason why I have 2112 logo tattooed on my leg. There's never been a rock band where the lyrics sometimes feel they've been written for me personally. Neil has been largely responsible for that. Rest in peace, Neil. Uh, the influence of him as an artist is beyond debate. Uh, his influence as a, a, a lyricist, uh, an author, a poet, uh, and then, of course, the extraordinary playing that most of us, as my good friend John Derringer said, as we all tried to be aspiring drummers at the time, we listened to the music over and over again, trying to figure out what he did and never could quite figure it out. That was uh, Neil Peart. The odd circumstance of my life, back in the early 80s, there's a, this uh, cute little blonde girl who comes into our high school. The uh, hallway is jammed with people. I don't know what's going on. It's like a frenzy. Someone comes running up to me and says, you won't believe, you will not believe who is in the hallway. Neil, as we used to say, Pert. Neil Pert's sister. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> of all the schools, she goes to Stovall District Secondary School, SDSS. This girl, so I go up and there she is. It's, lovely girl and I said what's your name <laughs> Nancy Nancy Peart hey she doesn't even say the name right <laughs> I'm done with this uh, we became good friends I got to know her very well uh, and her fantastic parents uh, Betty and Glenn boy Betty was awesome so was Glenn and they raised this boy and supported him from, from either working at the farm parts in the early days. Uh, he was born in Hagersville, spent his time in St. Catharines, to becoming literally a legend that I don't know if we'll ever see the likes of someone like him again. In that respect, he is a true Renaissance man and uh, someone that I think has shaped the lives of all Canadians, all Canadians, musicians, and uh, I think that the sadness of, of the passing also is a reflection of what he meant to us as, uh, as Canadians and what his family meant to me. And I, my heart breaks for you, Nancy, really does. <laughs> but I, I'll leave you with this. Uh, like a lot of us, we, we have this uh, sound, the soundtrack in our minds. And as I think of him, <laughs> I'm always going to think of this. For you, Neil. For you, Nancy. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, that was Try. very good. Very good.